Hello, and welcome to the Million Dollar Message. This is your fearless Friday message with Callie DeBlander Brigham calling from beautiful Pensacola Beach, Florida. And I'm recording the Million Dollar Message kind of in a fun way today. So I am on my way to my son, Brayden, and my daughter, Madeline's school today. Brayden is in sixth grade, and he has Cowboy Day <laughs> at school. And so I'm in my husband's truck. So Josh is driving us, and Brayden's in the back seat. Maddie's in the back seat. And I thought I would have them just say a quick hello to everybody. So here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> there you have it. There they are. Um, so, Brayden, really quickly tell everybody what's going on um, with your class today. Um, we're doing a few activities. We're splitting wood, uh, shooting BB guns, making biscuits. Uh, tie a knot, kind of like a lasso, hay bale stacking contest, uh, possibly riding a horse. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. And what are you, what are you studying that is, um, giving you reason to do Cowboy Day? Well, Cowboys <laughs> and the West. Specifically? Uh, Joseph Chisholm. What is he known for? Kids on the trail. Awesome. Very cool. So as you can tell, we're going to have a great day. And then Brayden has his birthday party right after school. So I just wanted to give you a little glimpse as to what our morning was looking like. Well, I had um, a great conversation with a brand new consultant yesterday, and I wanted to pass on what I shared with her. So she just turned 18 this past week. She saved up her Mary Kay or her birthday money to start her Mary Kay business. And her mother is her recruiter, a top consultant in my unit. So we had her welcome chat yesterday, and I asked her if she had any questions. As you know, Mary Kay is kind of in your blood and your DNA, right? So you probably know more than you even realize. But what questions do you have for me? You all, she asked me the most phenomenal new consultant question, and I wanted to share my answers with you. She said, okay, so how do I stay motivated in my business? How do I keep it going and not quit? I thought, wow, (laughs) that's pretty deep, right? Not how do I keep track of my sales or, you know, what do I say to get my first booking? No, no. I think she knows that the skills are going to come. She probably owns some of them already, but how does she stay motivated? So this is the answer I gave her. I said there's two main components to staying motivated. They sound really similar. You could use one or the other, but when you use both, that's that's the magic sauce (laughs) or the secret sauce, as my pastor would say. And the first one is motion because motion creates emotion. And I told her there's going to be many days, many, many days that she's not going to feel like it. And so you don't have to feel like it. You don't have to go with your feelings in order to work your business. How many other parts of our lives do we do because we simply take the first step or it is part of our daily discipline or it's become a habit? And so how do we get in motion? Well, I think we decide ahead of time that we're going to. We decide the night before. You know, maybe the night before you lay out your workout clothes or you sleep in them so that when you wake up, that's one less barrier. Maybe you decide the night before the list of people that you're going to call and the phone numbers and what time and you lay it out so that when in the morning, maybe you're running late or you um, are, you know, the weather's rainy or you just don't plain feel like it. You do it anyways because you've prepared. So we talked about disciplines and habits and the fact that you know ahead of time that you're going to work from motion. And, you know, it's not many times that you have to work from motion the whole time. You make those one or two first attempts, and all of a sudden you feel like it. You know, I don't get to my workout, and 15 minutes later I'm still wondering if I'm going to do my workout. No, now I've got the endorphins, and especially when it's over, I feel like a million bucks, right? So that's the first thing that I told her is motion creates emotion. So you decide now 
what action steps you're going to take. And you also acknowledge that it doesn't matter your emotions about it. You're going to do it anyways. But then just as important, emotion creates motion. And that means that you want to know what you're working for, who you're working for, why you're working. And so I asked her. Her answer was so brilliant. She said, at 18 years old, there's a lot of things that she doesn't have extra money. One is she likes to give gifts to her family. She likes to bless them on their birthdays or to her friends to give them little happies and surprises and treats. And so she's going to use her first Mary Kay money for that. And I said, you know, you're going to use that emotion to remind you every day. I said, whose birthday is coming up next? And it was her brother's. So we talked about what she could get. So that the night before, when she's creating her motion for the next day, she's going to be thinking about what that's going to feel like. She said that he has got expensive taste. It's her little brother. So she's going to need to save up a good little bit to get him something that's really going to make him happy. So she's going to not only tap into that so that she can maybe push through the next day when somebody tells her no or when she has a disappointment or when she, you know, just is busy. She's going to say, what is it going to keep me from that goal? Nothing, because I want to remember what that's going to feel like. I want to remind myself. I want to embrace that part. And then she's going to think about what that day is going to feel like too. His emotion attached to it. Her family watching what she's accomplished, um, that feeling of pride. And so there's going to be times when she wants to know why she is doing it. And obviously I can look around the truck. And I know that there's been so many days where I've just had to say, no, it's worth it. It's worth it because I want more what is going to come in the future than what I want today. Because what I want today sometimes is the easy way. What I want today is the path of least resistance. What I want today might be, you know, just, sitting on the couch or doing things that are in my comfort zone. But what I want most is what I want for the future for these three people in the car with me today. So I shared with her that you can have motion that creates emotion. You can have emotion that gets you into motion. But if you'll do both, if you'll do both, it's kind of like you're aligning your heart and your head. And you know what? you got to do it every day. That's the other part. You can't just decide today, and then it lasts for the next year. So there might be other things like listening to the Million Dollar Message or music that motivates you or your quiet time or visiting those dreams, creating a digital vision board like I talked about. So which one is the most needed in your life today? Which one is the most needed? And then make the decision that you're going to you're going to saddle up (laughs) you're going to saddle up with both of those things and you're going to watch yourself every single day reach those goals. So on behalf of the Brigham family, I hope that you have a great Friday, a blessed weekend, and I can't wait to be with you next week. Bye-bye.